1956 D. Lincoln sent struck on a dime planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. It is a numismatic error coin that is highly unusual and valuable due to its rarity and the circumstances surrounding its creation. The coin was struck on a dime planchet instead of a cent planchet. This type of error is known as a wrong planchet error and is quite rare. It occurs when a coin is struck on a planchet intended for another denomination. Because the dime planchet is smaller in size compared to a cent planchet, the strike results in incomplete lettering on the coin. This is a characteristic feature of this type of error. This error sent produced by Denver Mint ended up selling for $1,020 on January 24, 2024. Number 6. 1921 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 plus read by PCGS. According to NGC, in keeping with the restricted budgets imposed on all government agencies during the 1920s, the dies were used well past their ideal service, and poorly struck 1921 P cents are common. Ironically, one feature was sharper during this year than any other in the series. Brenner's initials were hand reinforced on 1921's master die and are quite bold. Unlike most Philadelphia mint cents, this date is a bit scarce in fully red gem condition. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,680 on January 29, 2024. Number 5. 1984 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS-68 read by PCGS. The Cherry Picker's Guide credits Richard Allen as discoverer of the 1984 Double Deer Cent variety. Lincoln's beard and bowtie also show prominent doubling. The variety is readily available in most mint state grades, but MS-68 red coins are undeniably scarce. Plus designated specimens are rare. This superb gem ended up selling for $3,044.25 with buyer's fee on January 28, 2024. Number 4. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 64 red and brown by PCGS. Bright and satiny mint luster illuminates the distinctive blonde gold surfaces of this near gem Lincoln Cent key. The mint mark sits low beneath zero in the date, one of four die marriages identified for the 1909 SVDB issue. Carbon flex and abrasions are absent on this attractive, CAC endorsed example that ended up selling for $3,600 on January 29, 2024. Number 3. 1955 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 63 Brown by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this is a bold example of the most famous double die in the Lincoln Cent series and the most popular, although its rarity is fueled by demand rather than availability. This glossy brown example displays a surprising amount of mint orange color within the fields and a few tiny marks that account for the select uncirculated grade. The doubling could hardly be sharper or more dramatic. It was sold for $4,560 on January 29, 2024. Number 2. 1917 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red and Brown by PCGS. According to NGC, a very large mint for the Denver Mint led to comprises in quality, as the dyes were used long after they ceased to be fit. Circulated examples are common in lower grades, but XF and AU coins are surprisingly difficult to find without damage or corrosion. Mint state BN or Airbay pieces are not too challenging, but fully red scents are rare. This gem ended up selling for $6,900. Number 1. 1915 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1915 P. Lincoln Cent is one of the most difficult wheat Lincoln Cents to find in red uncirculated grades that were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Only the 1914 P. is tougher than the 1915 P. in red uncirculated grades from all Philadelphia struck wheat Lincoln Cents. In MS-68 it is considered rare since there is only one coin known in the grade of MS-68 red certified by PCGS, as of January, 2024. It was sold for $81,562.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. God's willing, see you in the next episode.